In these few minutes we're going to be using Google Maps on Android, Google Maps version 10.24.4, which I happen to be a beta tester for. Anybody can do this if you sign up. So what we've got under the floating action button, let me just do that again, top right, floating action button, default, third level down after map, map details, we've got explore. This is the bit I want to look at and how useful it is. Now we're in Wyoming in United States of America to the wonderful Devil's Tower. So it's best if I go over initially to satellite and wonder what street view could near be nearby the Devil's Tower. So what I can actually do is if I look down to the tower itself, and this is how people may normally do it, and let's say I would tap and hold, what actually happens is pretty much nothing because bottom left here I have tapped a forest area or a rural area and Street View is not opened up so how can we actually change that for our benefit what we can do is to go in and click explore Street View which is ever so easy instantly what that does is it transforms the Devil Tower National Monument the first national monument in the USA of course into an area which shows us instantly which parts are active in street view so similarly again if I clicked and hold in the middle by now I would expect there is no street view because I'm in the middle of a load of uh, mountainous or woodland however if I do go down and these are the two examples number one is the entrance area which is going to be the devil's tower trading post I can instantly click bottom left then I can tap the 360 areas adds you may expect and we've got a very busy day starting here with Devil's Tower in the distance and the Devil's Tower trading post on the left along with I believe um, I've not been there in real life which I could visit one day and we can see that everybody's queuing up my point of it is this Devil's Tower amazing look at that incredible in Wyoming so what we've actually got and this is the lovely part of it is if I zoom out and then back in again what I can actually see is these areas down here some of them as you can see route 110 comes in let's demonstrate that I can tap and now confidently I will know that 360 imagery is opening up so here is a, a car park to use the UK English version of it as opposed to a parking lot then what is lovely is as I'm sure this is a very busy tourist attraction what we can actually do is confidently go in to know that the Google Street View backpack probably in this example has gone long and recorded wonderful Street View on the trail leading up and there's the beautiful Wyoming scenery here is the path which looks like an accessible pathway probably with a wheelchair or something that can go along and there sure enough is Devil's Tower to the top now just to repeat and this is why I'm making this video is if you turn off that street view you are suddenly lost in quite a lot of randomness because you don't really know so for an example although the trail looks good there and I tap that corner of the trail what you'll find actually with that one is it does open up and we are lucky but you could have quite a lot of troublesome um, disappointment by tapping around looking unless of course on mobile you enable the levels of floating action buttons which in this case are map types we could change that to terrain street view is the one that I'm focusing on and then you've got lovely things like this so if you actually come all the way out knowing I believe that street view is on you can get a good idea of where street view has been recorded and activated so that was Devil's Tower and Google Maps. See you in the next video.